Good afternoon, I'm Riza Diaz. This is One News Now. The number of COVID-19 cases in the country is inching closer towards the 320,000 mark. This after the health department reported over 2,600 new infections, bringing the case tally to more than 319,000, some 58,000 of which are still considered active. Meanwhile, over 20 or 255,000 have gotten better from the disease, with nearly 460 new recoveries reported today. The virus, however, killed 62 patients overnight, pushing the nationwide death toll to more than 5,600. The Philippine Navy delivers thousands of personal protective equipments set to the cities of Iloilo and Bacolod. Its dock landing ship called BRP Davao del Sur carries 58,000 PPEs set for the frontliners in the said cities. Iloilo and Bacolod are among those areas in Western Visayas with the most number of COVID-19 infections. Now, with just two days before the opening of classes, some education stakeholders are still worried that we are not prepared enough for the so-called blended learning. To tell us more on this, we have Ryan Ang. He's reporting to us live from Pasig City. Ryan, what's the latest? Risa, the Alliance of Concerned Teachers, or ACT, held an online meeting with educators, parents, and students to give them, to give them a platform in airing their concerns. Among the problems raised by parents was the slow and unreliable internet connection in the country. They shared that they also struggle in juggling house responsibilities and teaching their children. In addition, they complained about the late distribution of learning materials. Teachers, meanwhile, disclosed that some regions have not even completed yet the printing of modules. Some of them already shelled out their own money to ensure that the materials will be distributed on time. Student organizations, for their part, called on the government to provide gadgets and make sure that learners have access to stable internet connections. The student leaders are also asking the government to jump unnecessary school fees. In response, the education department said they are acknowledging the challenges that the education sector faces amid the COVID-19 pandemic. In today's lagging hand up briefing, Undersecretary Tonicito O'Malley vowed to continuously improve their services. Risa, the DepEd has been ramping up efforts to distribute the learning modules even at the last minute. Despite this, the agency is confident that all systems go for the opening of classes on Monday. Risa. Thank you. That was Ryan Ang reporting live from Passive City. Now, for more updates, the Follow News 5, the Philippine Star, and the Business World Online. You may also visit our website, onenews.ph, for more in depth analysis. You can also catch One News on Signal Play app. Register now for a free account at www.signalplay.com and stream one new slide anytime, anywhere. I'm Riza Diaz. We are One News.